Hello, this is the captain speaking. We should be landing in a few minutes. Thank you for flying Playmobil Summerfun Airways. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Playmobil, summer fun plane. We've got an engine fire, we need to land. Playmobil, summer fun plane, you are too far from the airport. You cannot land. We need to land now. We're gonna have to land on a highway. We've got no place else. Okay, we'll notify the Playmobil police station. You can land on the highway, Playmobil, summer fun plane. Mike, Laura, there's a plane, had an engine explosion in mid-flight. You're kidding me, happened right over the city. You guys are gonna have to get out to Highway 29 and stop traffic out there. The plane is gonna have to land on the highway, it can't make it to an airport. Al in the fire engine, he's parked outside as well. Al, you follow him. I was listening to the whole thing, no problem, I'm on my way. Okay, let's roll. I think we've got about eight minutes before the plane gets to the highway. You better hurry. Yeah, I'm going as fast as I can. Is the fire truck behind us? He's right behind us. Here comes the plane now. I can see its left engine, it's on fire. We need to get those passengers off the plane as soon as possible. Would you look at the size of that hole? Whoa, we got lucky there with that flight. Captain, you were very lucky there. We had to get the plane on the ground as soon as possible. That's why we had to land here in the middle of the street. That's the first time in my whole career that a whole engine just exploded like that. But luckily, I managed to land it safely and no one got injured. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And this is the plane that we just used in this story. It's the Playmobil Summer Fun plane, I guess. And it's Playmobil set number 6081 and it's for ages 4 to 10. And this is the whole set out of the box and fully assembled. We have the pilot here, who's all dressed in his pilot's uniform. He has his, um, he has his captain's logo here on the top and he's got the four stripes. Four stripes indicate that uh, he's a captain. It will be three, I think, for a co-pilot. And there he is. He has his wings here on his chest. And he's just looking as smart as pie in his uh, full pilot's uniform. Then we have the lady, who looks like she's the uh, wife, uh, rich wife, seeing that she's traveling in a private jet. <laughs> and, and she's there with a red handbag and her floral print t-shirt. Then we have the husband who's all chilled out for someone who travels on a private jet. He just looks really relaxed, doesn't he? He has his green suitcase, his blue jacket here, his uh, white t-shirt with red stripes and yellow stripes on underneath and it's just his uh, brown combat pants. Maybe he's going to war, who knows? And he's uh, some brown shoes as well. And that's it. You also get these two. They are little cups for the passengers to drink when they're on board the private jet. And they can just fit inside the, the two little cup holders that I'll show you in a second just inside the jet. So that's actually everything that you get with the set. These sets are fairly quick to put together. Whereas with Playmobil, this whole, this whole wing, the, uh, the entire wing portion comes all in one piece that's under the plane there that just comes all in one piece these wheels clip together all it is really is just the four tires that clip onto these yellow uh, tire holders wheels and uh, these just clip straight onto the wings so there's not much assembly there then we have the engines this is the engine that exploded in our Playmobil story 
and they just clip onto the sides and then you have the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer on the back there and that's just that's just about all the parts that come with it we can see on the front of the jet that it has uh, two dolphins here maybe it represents that they're going on holidays or it's a holiday plane enough fun for one day. Let's get out of here. The Sarge is getting pretty mad. You're dead right, Mike. He's pretty furious. He's shaking his hand like a crazy man. Let's get out of here. Hey, get back here, you two. You're not gonna drive those dirt bikes all over this city. Well, that's everything ready. Just wait now for the first customers of the morning. Hey. I can hear a bike. They might be the first customers. Ah, oh, that was those bozos Mike and Dean on those dirt bikes. Hey officers, Mike and Dean flew past here earlier on their dirt bikes. They even knocked me over. Yeah, that's who we're after, Rick. They've been driving them around inside the police station. They got the Sarge pretty mad. Hey, what's the noise? Sounds like they're coming back. Hey officers, hey Rick. Sorry we knocked you over earlier, Rick. We didn't mean to cause any harm. We were just messing about in our dirt bikes. Yeah, well, you guys could hurt somebody pretty bad, driving around with those things so fast. Yeah, well, you boys will be careful from now on. You got the Sarge pretty mad earlier today, and you nearly hurt Rick earlier. So go on, get out of here, and keep your nose out of trouble. And make sure you stay well away from the police station. The Sarge. Hi, you're through to Playmobil Police Station. How can I help? This is Rick, down at Jurassic World. There's a dinosaur loose from the enclosure. We need some help. Hey Frank, you better grab Lisa and get down to Jurassic World. It sounds like they're having a problem down there. I'm on my way. Capturing a T-Rex should be no problem for me. I caught six chimpanzees last week. Come on, cop. How long does it take to take a picture? Just hold still, Ricky. There, all done. Lisa, you gotta come with me immediately. We gotta get to Jurassic World. There's a dinosaur loose. No problem. Let's just get Ricky back in his cell. You should be safe in here, Ricky. We'll see you later. Okay, let's turn on the siren. Okay, you two. The dinosaur has changed direction. He's heading straight for the Playmobil police station. What is all that racket outside? I'm getting out of here. Quick, reverse. Let's get out of here. Stand back, guys. I'm gonna hit him with a sleeping dart. Sure we're lucky you were here, Mike. Hey, no problem. Just doing my job. Hey guys, thanks for watching. The place I used in this episode is the Playmobil City Action Police Station. 
and it comes with these four characters. The police car comes separately and that's part of the Playmobil police car range. And the dinosaur is from Jurassic World. Thanks for watching. Whoa, it is one busy day today at the dentist's office. Oh, hello officers. What can I do for you today? Hi, I'm Officer Vinny. I got an appointment to see the dentist today. You're here for the one o'clock. Yeah, why don't you go into the waiting room and you can take a seat, Vinny. Can you tell Vinny everything will be okay? He's terrified of dentists. I'm not terrified of dentists. I'm just a little afraid of their drilly things. <laughs> don't worry, Vinny. The dentist is very nice. I'm sure everything will be okay. It is just so busy today. Hi, I'm Officer Lewis. This is my son Billy. He has an appointment with the dentist today. I'm going to get my tooth pulled out today. Whoa, great to see you're so excited, Billy. Why don't you go into the waiting room? There's a nervous police officer in there afraid to get his tooth out. Come on, Mom, let's go. Hey, Vicky, that pain in my tooth seems to be going away. Maybe we can get out of here. No way, Vinny. We're staying here till you get that tooth pulled out. You've been crying like a sissy all week because of that tooth. Hey, Officer Vinny, I heard you're afraid to get your tooth out. Hey, kid. Officer Vinny isn't afraid of nothing. Well, except for dinosaurs and maybe giant space rabbits. Billy, leave Officer Vinny alone. He's afraid enough as it is. Aw, oh, come on. I am not afraid of dentists. Billy, the dentist is ready for you now. You can just follow me. Good luck, Billy. Hello, and what's your name? Hi, I'm Billy. I'm here to get my tooth out. Okay, Billy. Just hop up on the bed here and we'll get a look at your teeth. Be careful. There's some wires hanging around the place. Okay, dentist. I'll be careful. Watch it, your leg's caught in a cable. Vicky, what was that noise? Sounds like the dentist is killing him in there. Billy, are you okay? Oh, I think I just hurt my leg. Come on, Vicky, let's get out of here before the crazy dentist gets me too. Oh, Vinny, stop worrying. You just lie there now, Billy, and don't you touch anything, okay? Okay. Oh, wow, those things look cool. Ha ha ha, look at me. Ow, my eye! Now he hurt his eye. Vicky, that dentist is crazy. Let's get out of here. <gasps> Billy, look at your eye. I'm getting a real doctor to check you out. Uh, paramedics? What's going on here? Looks like the kid's leg is broken and he's a swollen eye. We need to get him to surgery. Let's go. What happened to Billy? It all went horribly wrong. He's on his way to surgery right now. I'm sorry, Billy. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Well, at least you're next, Vinny. Vinny? I can see stuff all over the place. Oh, oh, what's that? Hey, what are you doing with that dog, Larry? I don't know. He likes you. Oh, your dog's a bit of a lively one there, Larry. Yeah, yeah, she's a lively one. She, uh, she chases everything. Whoa, what's she, what's she looking to go after? She's chasing something. Yeah, yeah, she... Uh, oh, oh, come on, girl, come on. Oh, oh, there she goes. Larry, I don't know where her dog has gone, but I don't know if she's ever coming back. Ah, oh, come on, I better get her. Oh, well, would you look at that? Here she comes back now. What's she carrying? Looks like a bit of a red stick or something. Hey, what? what is that? Hey, come on, girl. Here, here, give me that. Good girl, good girl. Look at this. She brought the stick right back to me. Larry, you didn't even throw a stick. Oh, yeah, I didn't throw a stick. Then what's this stick? Larry, that's a stick of dynamite. Your dog just brought back a stick of dynamite. Ah, uh, where am I going to throw this thing? Ah, uh, now it's stuck to my hand. Ah. Uh. Oh, my back. How are you doing, Roy? I'm not too bad. Where did that dynamite come from? Uh, I don't know. Hey, officer. You didn't happen to see a stick of dynamite around here, did you? Hey, guys. Welcome to PI Toys, and today we're opening up this Playmobil City Action Police Club set. This set is for ages 4 to 10, and it has 64 pieces. Or else, it's for 64-year-olds, and it is 4 to 10 pieces. It's also Playmobil set number 5647, and this is what it comes with. Looks like the set comes with a guy in a quad bike, and he's holding a stick of dynamite. Kind of dangerous, don't know what he has a stick of dynamite for, but let's see what he's doing with it. He's also being chased by a guy in a tactical assault vehicle. Hey, stop there, where are you going with that? This set comes with two police officers and a police dog, along with the tactical assault vehicle, and the guy in the quad bike trying to escape with the stick of dynamite. The two police officers, on the other hand, or look like they're fairly heavily armed. This guy has a helmet, looks like he's a riot cop, and he's got a sidearm, 
and he's got a machine gun. This other guy is wearing a cap. Looks like he's not going to be getting into a riot because he's got a microphone on his face or a walkie talkie. He's also got a firearm alongside of him and he's holding the police dog for protection from bad guys. And here's a look at the back of the box, guys. We can see we get the quad bike, the two machine guns, the dynamite. The set is looking super safe already. You get the handcuffs, three other handguns. You get the guy in the quad bike, the police dog, the police officer, the riot cop, this other cop with night vision goggles. And we get some, they're either bulletproof vests or no, they're, they're bags knapsacks for the back of the guys and we also get the tactical assault vehicle for chasing the guy on the quad bike let's get this open guys and see what's inside the box now let's get all the wheels in place guys And this is the whole set out of the box, guys. We get the bad guy on his quad bike. We get the one of the armed support tactical unit policemen. He's got his, there he is with his night vision goggles. Hey, I still can't see. I'm blind. Guy is driving his quad too fast. And then we've got the police dog and the police dog handler. You also get the handcuffs for arresting the criminal and you get the dynamite. I have no idea why a stick of dynamite comes with this set, but it comes with dynamite. You also get these cool backpacks that you can put on the police officers. So we just clip it onto the back of the police officer and there it is, there he is. Now he can carry even more, uh, probably weapons and machinery because he's going to arrest a guy in a quad bike. And this is our tactical support truck from the story, guys. You can see it's got police written on the side there. It's got these armored windows, even though there's nothing in there. Uh, there's the window that uh, one of our cops just threw the dynamite through. There the truck is from the front. And we can see on the front of it, the license plate is PM155647. The PM standing for Playmobil. Then if we swap the truck to the other side, we can see it says police on the side of it and it just rolls side to side. From the back, we can see that the truck, it has one door handle here, just at the back of it, and the doors open up. There's storage in there for if you wanna store, usually weaponry, and there's some seating also, so we can take off the roof. The best way to get off the roof. And we can see inside, there's the stick of dynamite from our story, seating for two police officers there, luggage storage area there. So we can put one of our backpacks inside the luggage storage area and we can sit some of our police officers in the seating area. Maybe they're off to uh, some tactical support mission. So we'll have to take the guns out of their hands because too many guns. We'll have to lift this guy, lift his hand up and there are our two tactical support officers. So then we can put in our driver. Our driver goes in there. We better take it, we better remove the dynamite because we don't want to blow him up. And we can put the dynamite in the back of the truck. And there he is inside the police tactical truck. So we close the back doors. We put back on the roof. And these guys are ready for a mission. We can see that our bad guy in the story He's on a four-wheeler, a four by four. He's got his cool sunglasses on his face. Maybe when he's driving fast, keep the wind out of his eyes. And he's wearing this kind of bad, bad top there. Like where it's got, it's a black top with like red stripes and some gray on it. And his four-wheeler, that has the number 23 there on the front. And it's got its two headlights. 
and it's got its, its real grippy tires for a rough terrain if he's off road. But and here is the last person of the group that we have to look at. It's the little dog. He looks like he's an Alsatian by the looks of him. And he's got his cool long tail there. And you can see that the dog's legs actually move. And then he's got his cool dog's lead there. And it's actually, it's nice and stretchy so that if he runs away from his owner, oh, 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 his owner can just pull him back there. His owner can just pull him back. So there he is. We'll attach him back onto his owner or his dog trainer and there they are ready to fight crime if they ever get up off the floor ready to fight crime another day when the dog gets up off the floor well guys thanks for watching and uh, make sure you click that subscribe button in the center of the screen the pi toys logo to subscribe to this channel and also make sure that you can uh, click on one of the three icons that are on the screen there and you can watch another fun video from pi toys okay See you in the next episode. See you later.